So let's begin our journey in geometry. Let me give you a complete overview of uh, all chapters in geometry in just two minutes. And you will understand how easy and interesting it can become. So you start with a point, move the point to get a line, move the line to get a plane, move the plane like this to get a solid. So that's geometry. That's one way of looking at geometry. So what we are doing is started with the point. You move the point to get a line, move the line to get a plane like this, which is two dimensional. And if I move the plane like this, I'll get solids, which are three dimensional. Now let's simplify geometry in using common language and in simple language. Let's try interpreting one to many. So if I try interpreting one to many in a diagram, I, I start with the point, lot of them together, I get a line, two lines to get an angle, three lines, I get a triangle, make this one to many. So two triangles together, I get a quadrilateral. Keep on adding triangles, uh, I'll get trapeziums and pentagons and hexagons. And if I do this uh, many more times, infinite number of triangles, I get a circle like this. So circle is nothing but uh, one to many of a triangle. Now cut the circle, straighten this out. I get a line and that's where we started from. So line can be taken as a circle with infinite radius. Circle can be taken as a polygon with infinite lines. Line to a circle and everything in between is what we need to learn in geometry, in plane geometry. It's, it's very, so it's very simple. So we'll first start with uh, two lines together. We call them angles. Next chapter will be three lines together. Triangles, four of them together we learn next, we call them quadrilaterals. And uh, the next chapter will be infinite number of them put together, we call them circles. And it, it's, it sounds very simple, right? It's actually much easier than what you think. So geometry is going to be, it's anyway easy, but it's going to get much more interesting. And you're going to find it, it's going to become well below anyone's level very soon. Now. Let's understand geometry in a different way, but obviously in an easier way itself. So geometry is, or can also be taken as number patterns visualized in diagrams. So let me help you understand why geometry is number patterns visualized. So if I start with the basic number pattern, which is one, two, three, four, five, these are natural numbers. Now, if I take some of consecutive natural numbers, the numbers which I'll get is one, 1 plus 2, if I take, I'll get 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3, I'll get 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, I'll get 10. So these numbers, 1, 3, 6, 10, we actually call them triangular numbers. Let's understand why we call them triangular numbers. So for that, you just visualize 1, 3, 6, 10. How do we visualize? Let me show you. 1 is like this 1. 3 can be taken as 1, 1, 2. 6 is 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 like that. So it's, it's now it's very simple, right? It's obvious why we call them triangular numbers because they look like triangles. Let's see this addition of two triangular numbers. Let's visualize that. So if I take a, a triangular number 6, which is 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and the previous number, which is 1 and 1, 2, if I just make it upside down and if I keep it over here, I'll get what I'm getting here is 3, 3, 3, which is nothing but 9. So 9 is 3 plus 6 and 9 is a square number. So you can easily visualize that. So now I'm very sure when I mentioned that geometry is nothing but number patterns visualized, I'm sure you got an idea now. So geometry is number patterns visualized. Just to add on to it, algebra is number patterns generalized using variables. And once you represent them through words and that's what we call them applications and that's what we mostly learn in science.